In the book publishing industry, readers are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. Great writers like myself, who make up the stories, and ungrateful fictitious characters who try to harass and prosecute the innocent. This is my story. Armed with a coherent message, I ran back to the door where the nice ladies baked on the front porch in the Florida sun. My grandma said it's too late for us to be saved because everybody in the house just died. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, so, so does anyone have any questions about the book? Yes. Yes, you, sir. Yeah, I'm Achilles, one of the characters in your book. Sabrina, I got one question for you. Why you wrote that I had Rotten Chitlin's mail to my job during Ramadan and then posted it on your Facebook? Why you gotta play me like that? That got to be a felony somewhere on this planet. Um, look. I wrote your character the way I wrote it because I thought you could take it. So man up. Next question, please. Lee Artist Chapman here. I'm equally outraged that you have me betrayed as some superstitious, pretentious, social climbing mother. If my sorors knew that I was at a book signing with commoners, <laughs> I would be banned from the Miami Beach Boulet. Willie Chapman, I'm the daddy in the book. Now don't get me wrong. It's an entertaining read. But you think that I didn't have the courage to stand up to my wife! Sit down, Willie. Yes, dear. And you have the audacity to write that I had bad credit and still be in the bed. When was that a bad thing? And then you say my grandmother is a porn loving murderer? Your book is a major colonoscopy. Um, I think you mean catastrophe. And first of all, that ain't no sweet old lady. That's Miss Chicky. She's a law unto herself. Mean old cussing old witch. Um, beam me up, Scotty. I don't see you wiving rain on Tuesday. Never rained on Tuesdays when I was a girl. It rained on Wednesdays. But that was okay because that was my hog hunt night. And them hogs, they don't like the rain. Miss Chicky, what are you doing here? I left you cursing somebody out on page 194. You had me trying to kill the bishop. I would never leave behind DNA and witnesses. I'd only try to kill somebody if it got me a reality show. Now I do have my scurvy. I think you mean scruples? Um, Miss Chicky. Can we talk about this without the gun? Mmm, girl, what you been doing with your hair? There's nothing wrong with my hair. There's nothing right with your hair, you uppity heifer. We have the place surrounded. Come out now. I want to get home in time for true blood. What? 
I can have a bone collection. That's not illegal. Most of it. And how else is my granddaughter gonna learn how to keep a man? No, not you. The other one. Say what? Hello and welcome to Book News Now. Former stand-up comedian and novelist Sabrina Lamb's latest book, A Kettle of Vultures Have Left Beat Marks on My Forehead. This satirical novel is about an image consultant with low self-esteem who is surrounded by magical people, like her crazy porn-loving grandmother. The good news for Sabrina is that the book has made the bestseller list. The bad news is that she's been arrested for assaulting the reputation of fictitious characters. The Vultures Left Beat Marks on My Forehead, published by Simon & Schuster Strebor, available from Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and good bookstores everywhere.